Driving in the mountain roads sure can be pretty. But when you get behind a few semis, it sure can be slow. Which drives this one crazy. Yeah, it does. Especially when you get behind these semi trucks. They go about five mile an hour up the road. Yeah, you just can't make any ground. But it's all good because we're not in a hurry. And we got, we're in a little patch of coffee country, so that's always nice. So we were at that little camp down there close to the coast on that pretty river for several days, getting some odds and ends done on the van. And of course, Kurt went home to get his vaccine, but we have left there and we are headed up in elevation and we are headed to somewhere really cool. It's a place that we actually went to nine years ago when we visited Costa Rica on a normal, typical type vacation. And I have been waiting to get back to this place for nine years. So that's where we're headed. I hope you guys are gonna enjoy it as much as we do. And as we drive through these pretty mountains, we'll make sure we show you that too. But trust me, we're heading somewhere awesome. Snow's driving, and we are on a super narrow, narrow road, windy road, up in the area of the clouds. <laughs> and so we're ripping around. I drove first shift this morning, and she's got second shift. The harder shift. And <laughs> as it turns out, it did just start raining. Van is on the dash. G's back there whining. But we had an awesome stay over at Mike and Luis's. It was a beautiful place, very functional for everything we had to do. We needed to do some planning, some strategy, some edu ed editing, some stuff on the van, all the stuff that we normally have to do. And I had to fly back to get my vaccine, so I wasn't here, and it was a very secure place for snow to stay. Beautiful vistas, beautiful birds, all of that, but we're excited to be back on the road. Yeah. And, uh, you know, just checking out this beautiful scenery in Costa Rica. But as Snow said, we have an awesome destination that we're going to while we were posted up. As I said, we had a lot of things to do. And our time is actually winding down in Costa Rica. Unfortunately, we're on the clock. Now, we still have a bit more time here and a few things to do. We had a three months in total, so we still got some more time and we have a list, but we've got to figure out our shipping for Pan when we get out of Panama to get to South America. So Snow made several contacts for the shipping. We've got some leads. I think we need to book it, what, three weeks in advance? Yeah, at least three, three weeks is the latest you can book it. But when we're shipping, those dates aren't set yet. So we can't book yet because we don't know the shipping dates that will be available very confusing it's confusing so it's intimidating but it's there's a lot of stuff but the process has started we've gotten some stuff figured out we've made some decisions and so we're in good shape we're where we need to be yeah, at yeah, the time yeah, yeah. yeah we're not stressing so when we leave we'll be in good shape but also that means we got to get all the paperwork done for the kitties and all that stuff Again, all that stuff's planned out. And so we are actually yeah. not in border prep mode. We're, we're getting close though. But we're getting ready. We just rolled back into La Fortuna. And so if you guys remember, we stayed at Lake Arnold earlier and came through La Fortuna on our way back to, what are we doing in San Jose? To fly, for you to fly out? For you to fly turn left onto Avenue. So we went through here. And we're coming back to go to Tabacon, the world famous hot springs. <laughs> and something we both absolutely loved last time we were here. 
And so we're gonna try to find a place to grab some lunch. And then we gotta find our camp spot. We stopped and got something to eat. We're both feeling better. Kurt's rested, I'm not hangry. And now we think we're just gonna park in this town overnight, get hunkered down, wake up first thing in the morning and uh, head out for our next adventure. So right now we're looking for a spot. We have settled on a parking spot, parallel parking on the street in the middle of La Fortuna, in front of the church and across from the park. From the park. So we're settling in for a nice it. night and we will see you guys in the morning for a super fun day. <laughs> I think Snow's already told you that about nine years ago we came to this area called the Arnell Volcano area and back then the said that we would be able to see lava and we watched videos and you could see lava spewing out of this Arnold volcano but right when we got here we were looking for the lava and we asked the people at the hotel and they said it stopped so it stopped two months before we got here and it hasn't started again and La Fortuna is sort of a nice I would describe it as a touristy area I would say it's kind of like like a ski resort town or something like that. There's all sorts of neat little restaurants, uh, boutique shops and all that type of stuff. In the area, there's all sorts of outdoor activities like hiking, tubing, rappelling, four wheeling, hot springs, you name it, minus skiing, it is here. So guys, we woke up this morning, had a great night's sleep, nice and quiet. Beautiful Arnold Vulcan Ardenal right back there. You can see it's letting off a little steam. And G Money's pretty stoked because he's got to come out and go for a little walk. Van is next. The van, something we're supposed to do every time we're ready to roll. Make sure the drawers are fastened, the fans are off. Sometimes we forget, but we didn't forget today, so that's good. All the drawers are closed. Good job, Curdy. Let's go. So we are rolling and we are heading somewhere that I am so excited about. Fell in love with this place nine years ago when we came to vacation here. And today we're going to share it with you guys. So first, we gotta drive there, okay. but it's not far, so let's go. Volcan Adenal. I would love to hike this beautiful volcano right there. It's conical, so it's got like the classic volcano shape. Reminds me a bit of Irazu, although Irazu is smaller and more straight up. That looks pretty steep, but they don't let you hike up there, so it's not gonna happen. But that thing creates, generates a lot of hot water and we're definitely gonna enjoy the hot springs here. All right, we're parked, <laughs> we're excited. And Kurt was saying this morning, this is almost kind of like a little anniversary thing. This was a uh, really awesome vacation for us that we did for my 40th birthday a little over nine years ago. So it's really cool to be back. It's an expensive thing, but this is something we've known we were gonna do 
since we decided to move into a van and travel Central America. So let's go do it. How come the stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away? Show us where we are. What makes the sun go to sleep every night? And what's it dreaming of? I wonder. How come the sky sometimes hides behind the clouds? Maybe it's just like me, a little bit scared of heights. Why does the rain always keep on pouring down? When it's gray outside It really makes me wonder Guys, we are having a relaxing time here, really enjoying it. But it's almost time for lunch. The snow's gonna head up to the restaurant, and I'm gonna give you guys a proper tour of this place because this place is beautiful. I think we've already mentioned it, but I think we enjoy this just as much as we did the time before, if not more. It's definitely pricey in our new life. If I remember correctly, it was pricey in our old life. But in my opinion, definitely worth it. All right, we'll see you in a minute. So the river just kind of runs down through this jungle and there's paths up through here with all these different tropical plants. And you can see these big trees with all these roots hanging down. They have a pretty cool canopy as well. But they manicured this all along here and there's all these little spots, little hidden spots along the, the river. There's bridges that cross over them. In the 1980s, La Fortuna and the Arenal Volcano area in general were just sleepy little farm towns with a couple of restaurants and a bed and breakfast. Then one day, a Costa Rican born architect stumbled up on some pasture land at the bottom of the beautiful Arenal volcano. There were several streams of hot mineral water running through the pasture, creating a type of marshland in the cow pasture. But the architect, he had a knack for being creative, and he saw what this land could become. Over the next couple of decades, the area was transformed several times and has finally ended up with what you see today, the Tabacon Resort. This resort literally turned a sleepy little farm town into a world-class international travel destination. The town of La Fortuna is now the most visited site in Costa Rica. And if you look around at this place, it is easy to see why. It now has over 900 acres of rainforest surrounding the river and the pools. 
and over 200 different types of plants thrive here. Without a doubt, if you are visiting Costa Rica, Tabacon should be on your list because you have got to dip your toes into this hot river, guys. It is amazing. But now, let's go have some lunch. So, as part of our uh, package to get in here, it comes with lunch or dinner. We picked lunch. Kurt just ordered the tenderloin and I ordered the lemon rub chicken. So we're gonna have a nice lunch. And then, what are we gonna do, Kurt? And then we're gonna go take a nap in the van. And then later, we're gonna come back here and chill in the hot springs some more. Yes, that is exactly what we're about to do. Yeah. Food, nap, more hot springs. Yeah. You guys will be happy to know I only ate one little teeny tiny bite. I mean like teeny tiny bite of each of the three tarts and Kurt finished mine for me. <laughs> so I did good there. Now we walk back out to our van. I think we're gonna take a little nap. We got full bellies. We're relaxed from the hot springs. I think it's definitely nap time. To say we are incredibly relaxed is definitely an understatement. But we made it to our campground. It was dark, so we can't show you around. But first thing in the morning, Kurt will probably get up and shoot some footage. So that's probably what you're looking at right now. But we're not staying at this place long. It was a great place close to the hot springs to stay. Uh, we can get some potable water here. It wasn't expensive and uh, good place to spend the night. But with that, we are winding this episode down. We are on the road. We're getting ready to pack up the van for a moving day and we're headed somewhere else exciting. So be sure to head on over to Instagram, follow us there to keep up with what's going on here in the van in between YouTube episodes. And with that, we'll see you guys in a few days. Cheers. Cheers. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you guys know when we put out new videos. And don't forget, you can always follow us over on Instagram to see what's going on in between videos. Cheers, guys.